Welcome back. In this module, I'm going to take you through enabling Pardot Lightning app. This has uh, been important and this is going to be important. Um, in the sections, we already you know, gave this section name in this course as enable Pardot Lightning app. So this will summarize all the steps that you need to enable Pardot Lightning app for all the user or for, for a specific user. Right. Uh, let's uh, get started. Um, how to enable uh, the Pardot Lightning app, or you can say it, how to give uh, user access to Pardot Lightning app. Right. Um, you might be wondering why we need so. Right. There could be you know n number of things which I can talk about, but I just wanted to be precise. And the reason is being. Um, and if you already went through that, right, we have different way to access uh, per dot. Uh, and you might have already went through that video in this course, right? Um, so per dot lightning app, I mean, the per dot classic app is going to retire, right? So this app is being retired soon. It means you won't be able to access the per dot classic app by this, right? It means either you should be having access to um, Pardot standalone app or Pardot Lightning app. And the best way to proceed with uh, is to enable Pardot Lightning app, right? Um, so um, um, the first thing which is required is you should be having Lightning experience enabled in your Salesforce org. I'm hoping that most of you already have access to it, but few or you know some of you might not be having access. In that case, you can connect with your uh, Salesforce, you know, um, um, administrator team, and this will be helping you with it. Some uh, right, um, and the second thing is like you should be having the Salesforce Marketing Cloud account engagement. Now the new name for product is marketing cloud account engagement user sync enabled i mean this is not a prerequisite uh, but it's good to have but the thing which you see in um, colored right which are, which is colored verify that your product and salesforce user are linked it means you have enabled the salesforce sso right and your salesforce user and and product user must be mapped right so indirectly, we are, what we are telling is like, okay, make sure like you're aligned with the latest update, which is Salesforce Marketing Cloud Account Engagement Users Sync, right? Um, so once you are okay with this to right, Lightning Experience and then User Sync enable. User Sync, I have you know talked about it in more detail in this course already. Um, so here it will look something like that, right? If you try to access the Pardot Classic app, it will show you some error or things like that, right? Um, in case if you uh, do not have access to the Lightning um, experience in Salesforce, your UI will look something like this, right? Uh, if you see this switch to Lightning experience, simply click on it and it will take you to the Lightning experience of Salesforce. If not, you can contact back um, to your Salesforce admin who can give you the um, Lightning experience access, right? Um, the second thing is about the, you know, the users should be linked, right? Now, moving to the next slide, right? Um, the other thing, and this is, you know, the trick, tricky, tricky, I mean, to say is like most of the time you'll miss it and you'll con configure rest of the things which is needed to enable Pardot Lightning app just because of this. You know, if you somehow missed it, things might not be working in your Salesforce org. So what actually this point is, and go to the marketing setup and then open Setup Assistant and make sure like you, you have enabled Pardot in your Salesforce org. Now how to navigate to this, right? This very first point. Uh, so if you come to a Salesforce org, right uh, once you click on this gear icon you see setup which is salesforce native setup right and this is marketing setup right so um, 
you have to click on this marketing setup once you click on this marketing setup you'll come to this page right and you should see here setup assistant right just click on this setup assistant it will um, you know take you to this page uh, right once you clicked on the setup assistant and you are already on this page expand this very first option which is send your first email and that's where if you scroll it down you should see turn on per dot lightning app in Salesforce make sure like you have enabled this using this toggle button and this is what I was talking about right most of the time you'll configure rest of the thing but you might miss it and it might be confusing for you like you already have done everything right um, but what is not working uh, the second thing is like give user uh, access to the uh, per dot connected app so when we are talking about per dot connected app here it means here we are referring to b2bma uh, underscore canvas app right uh, so if you come here um, you know click on this gear icon click on this setup right and just type in um, app manager right but here if you look at right you should see a different navigation option like which is like manage connected app and then look for it but either way I mean the steps is already mentioned here I'll take you through a different step which is like just come here and type in app manager once you click on it right um, it will take you to this page right now look for B2B MA canvas app here you see it will look something like this number could vary in your org depending on how many connected app or lightning app you already have once you click on this drop down click on this manage um, once you click on manage button and if you could scroll it down you should see this manage profiles so click on it and you only have to make sure it's like whosoever user will need access to the product lightning app um, this th their profile must be checked here right that's the only thing that you need to take care of once you checked you can come back anytime and you should be able to check and uncheck this profile right so all the user with that profile will be eligible to uh, get access to the product lightning app right and once you click on save right and you're done so now you know about these two steps it means um, we are you know one step closer to um, uh, enabling the product lightning app in your Salesforce org now let, let's move to the next slide now this is the important one and you should be having clarity about this particular slide right what we are trying to do uh, we enable the product in Salesforce org right we have assigned um, uh, profiles for the connected app now third important thing is um, assigning the required permission set to all the user who will need access to the product lightning app right so if you see we have four different permission set one is account engagement user sales cloud user service cloud user or CRM user permission set no all I mean, all these four is not needed right either of these one you can assign it to the user so that they can access product lightning app right so again you can go from marketing setup or even from Salesforce setup just type in permission sets right and this is a bulk way to assign it even you can go like user by user so let's uh, you know first try with bulk option so you click on this gear icon click on setup it will take you to the setup page just type in permission set right sorry permission set right even if you click on this gear icon and then marketing setup right you can still can type in permission set right you should be able to open it now remember what all you know permission set I was talking about uh, account engagement user sales cloud user service cloud user or CRM user permission set let's say take an example of sales cloud users so I just come to this list view of permission set it could vary depending on um, uh, depending on 
um, your Salesforce org, right? I'm just looking for a sales cloud user. I simply click on S, right? It will take us to a list of permission set which we'll start with S. Now I look for sales cloud user. I just clicked on it, right? And uh, I click on manage assignment, right? And then you can click on add assignment to add all the users who will need access to the product lightning app. Other way to do the same thing would be like if you just want to give it for one or few user, right? You can simply, you can do from here as well. Or other ways like just type in that user name, right? Um, if you open that user record, you can also just type in user here, right? And you can click on user and then you can navigate. Uh, you can go to the permission set and click on edit assignment, right? And you can assign either of these four permission set to this enabled permission set and click on save. Right, this would also work. Um, so you have completed this step number three, which is assigning uh, account engagement user or sales cloud user or service cloud user or CRM user permission set. Now, if you see, I have put this uh, aesthetics mark to um, account engagement user. Now, I'm not going to talk more about it, but just give you high level understanding about this or kind of, yeah, I mean, that could be helpful. Um, for you to draw, uh, uh, you know, um, conclusion here, right? Um, initially, when we, you know, we started, um, I mean, the Salesforce started journey to Pardot Lightning app, and they there were sunset for Pardot only user, right? Salesforce has provided uh, us uh, with an identity license so that, um, you know, we can create an identity user for, for you know, as an alternate to um, per dot only user. So identity user with identity license in Salesforce won't be having any kind of access to um, Salesforce core object or core platform. They only will be able to access um, per dot via pi.perdot.com or you can call it per dot standalone app, right? Now there's a need right um, because there are a lot more feature which has been uh, you know uh, which has been added to Perdot, which which has been built on the top of Salesforce core platform or any other product which can only be accessible in Perdot Lightning app now in case if you want to give access um, you know Perdot Lightning app access to the identity user right so identity user um, you know uh, um, you know uh, if they do not have this account engagement user permission set they cannot access part of lightning app so if you assign this permission set to that particular user they will be able to access part of lightning app now there is there is a you know uh, some considerations uh, you need to take care of w what are those uh, this permission set will give some access to the salesforce native core object for example which we are also using in, in Perdot, right? For example, lead, contact, account, opportunity, campaign, right? So make sure like if, if you're giving this permission set to identity users so that they can access the Perdot Lightning app, you're exposing these um, object to them and, and as per your security or whatever process you have in place, right? Um, it's, it's aligned with your business requirement. So once done, done with that, right, the next step is like, okay, we have the Perdot Lightning app, how to give uh, profile, um, you know, visibility to that Perdot Lightning app, right? Now, if you look at the navigation option that we have, again, go to the Salesforce setup and then quick find, just type in app manager, then select the app manager, then look for Perdot app, and you have to look for app type as Lightning, right? And then you can do so. So let's get into, um, the arc so here we are you click on the setup it will take you to this right just type in app manager right once you click on the app manager ju just look for app uh, per dot app you might see like too many uh, you know per dot app right but you need to look you know make sure like you're looking for per dot app on and that is also that should be a lightning one what is happening? Um, right? So if you scroll it down, you should see this uh, per dot, right? And description, if you see B2B marketing automation, this is one way to, uh, you know, recognize this is a per dot lightning app. Otherwise, like, 
the under under the app type right you can see like it's a lightning so click on this drop down uh, and click on edit right it will take you to the um, lightning app builder right here you can just you know uh, do the required as per your need the, but the important thing which I was just talking about this one right give uh, you know make this app visible um, um, on the profile label right um, so if you come to this you can go to this user profiles and make sure like the user who will need access to this app right part of lightning app that user is under the selected profiles right it means for example if knowledge only user need access to the product lightning app uh, app I, I'll simply click on this profile and then click on you know this um, add button to add it to the selected profiles once you're done with it right you're all set almost all set so uh, you now you have given the um, um, visibility to profiles right now how to access it right you have completed all the required steps to enable the product lightning app right what next now how to access it right uh, once you enable the product lightning app one way to cross check is like simply uh, you know refresh the browser tab once you're done with all those settings right click on this app launcher or waffle sign or six dot whatever you call it right click on this app launcher click on view all and if you could just type in here per dot right you should see per dot with b2b marketing automation and that's your per dot lightning app right just click on it once you click on it you are all set you should see like product dashboard prospect campaign automations product email content product reports reports and product settings um, so that's where so you have successfully enabled the product lightning app here if you see like campaign and reports right these are salesforce native object right so that's the beauty of bringing product native to the salesforce right so that was that's it and you have enabled it